my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today, French iconic perfume that I would like to discuss with you. The reason is because on this video, the French women icons that you love so much, and I thought, what about if I make a mini series of French icon and this video is for you if you know your French perfume or want to know more or if you're looking for right now to change a perfume and you think about it, taking a French one so yes let's talk about it plus I would give you some couple of tips how to apply perfume and by the way I did a video last year not the best but the tips are really good how to apply perfume watch this video it will be linked as well below because this video was quite popular and you're always asking me to do more videos about perfume. Let's jump straight into the video. I want to make a tiny, tiny disclaimer. I know not everyone will agree with me on my list. I decided to put a list of perfumes that I know I wore one moment of my time and I truly love, okay? There are thousands and thousands of perfume in the market, French or not, very, very good. They're not all French, obviously, but in terms of French perfume, women are very, very particular. We love to have a unique smell and it doesn't mean that if I tell you, look, I really love this perfume, it's gonna smell the same on your skin. It depends about your skin, acidity, food you eat and everything. French designer that I love and is number one on the list is Chanel. Chanel number five was the first perfume creating in the, just after or between the second one, so it might be 39, 45. Chanel number five, it's a Nikon perfume. Personally, I don't like it because it smells way too strong, it's, it doesn't suit me. But this is my two favorite perfume that I wear all the time. Coco Mademoiselle de Chanel. This one is mainly in daytime when it's really hot, so it's fresher. And Coco Noir, because it's my favorite and I smell it and it's me and people sometimes just said, oh, I could smell you in a staircase. And that's because I wear Coco Noir. They, some people say the rules, you wear a light perfume during the day and a bit more heavier perfume during the night. I do agree with that, but you know what? Rules are made to be broken. So if you have your five perfume and you love it day and night, just wear it. <laughs> that was a great tip. <laughs> Okay, the second designer, top, top, top of the list is Yves Saint Laurent. Oh my gosh, I love Yves Saint Laurent. So the perfume, that one I will buy again, and not a lot of people know this one, is Rive Gauche. Rive Gauche is not a perfume, actually, it's an eau toilette, so it's much lighter. But personally, I love um, a bit spicy and floral, but I don't like too much sweet and sweet perfumes but this is an icon Rive Gauche exists for a very very long time I say very very long time because I don't know the year obviously and I did my research believe it or not and the second one that I truly truly love and I wore for for quite a while now but you know you, we change we we evolve and the taste change as well but I used to wear opium black for a very long time. I think for at least three, five years in a row, that was my perfume. So if you don't know this one, take notes, go to a perfume place, ask to smell them. Usually they, mess, they ask you to smell in a piece of paper, which I never understood because I think if you're ready to spend two to three hundred dollars in a very expensive, high quality perfume, you better to taste inside of your hand of your wrist, sorry, and you have a walk around and you wait at least five to 15 minutes and you smell it and see how the perfume is changing on your skin. That will be the best test. Obviously, don't put a fasten on your arm because you will never know which one will suit you. So maybe before is better by a piece of paper. Oh, that wasn't very clear. <laughs> The second one, Rochas. If you don't know, Rochas been created in 1925. So they are two very iconic perfumes. Um, I didn't wear the second one, but be, so the first one, Eau de Rochas. Eau de Rochas, even the bottle shape, and obviously I will put photos in September, I'm talking. 
It's such an old-fashioned one. I don't know any French women didn't wear Alice once or the Rochas. Second one is Byzance de Rochas. It's very elegant, very sensual. Again, this one is not my cup of tea, and to be honest with you, I haven't wear it at all but i have to name it in this video because it's an icon perfume oh if you don't know this french perfume guys you're missing out cartier cartier perfume are exceptional so the eau de cartier is a very clear bottle with a spray i think it's a no toilette i'm not sure I wore that for so long. It's a fresh perfume, goes everywhere. It's more like a sporty, very green, vetiver perfume. Really, really love this one. Just talking about it, I'm thinking maybe I will wear it again. And then the second one, which is a massive classic, a must de Cartier. Must de Cartier, it's a very classic. It's a beautiful woman elegant, sexy perfume. If you don't know those Cartier perfume, I think you can go to a Cartier shop and try to smell them, but you can buy them online, but I will recommend you before, again, test on your feet. Talking about perfume as well, tip of the video. If you want a perfume last a bit longer, I share it in my beauty hacks video. Put a little bit of Vaseline in your neck, in your décolletage, inside of your wrist, inside of your arm not too much because you don't want to grease your hair and put the perfume because it's moisturized and sticky it will stay much longer and because the vaseline is fragrance free take it take it take it never ever ever perfume your hair perfume contains alcohol it needs to be kept outside of the heat and especially the light okay i always see sometimes when there's someone with perfume just on the shelf under the sun i'm like oh la 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 don't do that <laughs> all right keep going <laughs> by the way did i ask you to subscribe i completely forgot i think i did anyway if, if i haven't please consider to subscribe by clicking here you just have to click here and you can click as well on the notification bell this time you will know next time i will post a video give me a big thumbs up and a comment what is your favorite french perfume Mwah. then ah oh, that should be as well on my list number one hermes hermes create such a high quality wonderful perfume so I tested, I wore two of them actually for women is Eau des Merveilles. It's a bit old right now, they've done different versions, but Eau des Merveilles and the bottle doesn't stay straight, it stay a bit oblique. I really, really love it. It looks amazing on the shelf. And 24 Faubourg was more like a classic one uh, with a square shape for memory, but more woman, this one, but try them on. And for men, if a man for me wear Terre Hermès, uh, it's like blue from Chanel for a man, that will be the top two perfume that a man should wear. I'm just saying. Then a classic one, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Of course, the famous body shape of a woman of Jean-Paul Gaultier perfume bottle is the must to have, especially if you like ginger, vanilla, orange. So to me, it's a bit of a too sweet perfume because I'm not crazy about vanilla inside of a perfume, but the bottle is gorgeous. Again, if you're a collector, you should get the Jean-Paul Gaultier. Number one, Guerlain. Of course, I have to talk about Guerlain. What a massive, massive brand in France. Love those products. Again, very haute couture. They have two ones. The best seller is La Petite Robe Noire, the little black dress. And the second one, when every older woman will know, called Shalimar. Shalimar is a very oriental. Uh, it's something you smell it. You are in Morocco in a beautiful market and drinking minty. Just, it's a perfume you travel with. La Petite Robe Noire, it's a very good one as well. They've done as well different versions. If you don't know this one, you should have a try. Oh, a brand that I love personally, Lancôme. I bet I'm not crazy about the perfume. So I know the best seller is La Vie est Belle and it's not a perfume for me personally, but it's the best seller. So it must say that a lot of women buy it. 
What I like this one from uh, Lancôme is Eau de Lancôme. It's a very tall bottle. It's more like a greenish perfume, meaning greenish doesn't sound very sexy. More like a green, uh, fresh, airball uh, perfume, which I prefer. I think it, even it's not a perfume, it must be an eau toilette. And the other one will be obviously Christian Dior. The Christian Dior Poison. Ah, that was my secret perfume to go at. Every time I put it poison, oh my gosh, I could go and I knew I would dance all night. That was my going out nighttime perfume party time. That was quite a few years ago, <laughs> 15 years ago. And the other one, which is a classic, is J'adore. J'adore is a beautiful packaging as well with this very, very sensual lines. It's more woman, it's a bit more adult. Poison is a little bit naughty, but that would be my thing as well. Some French women love to perfume their clothes and not their skin. That's a choice. Sometimes I like to perfume a little bit my pillowcases, or if you want to be super elegant and super French, <laughs> You don't perfume yourself, you perfume the air and you jump into it. That's the thing. I used to do it sometimes for fun. Wear perfume every day, find a perfume that suits your personality, your taste, your look, um, your activities as well, you know. And if you want to have five, six, ten bottles of perfume, that's your choice. I don't be, I believe for me two, three maximum and then I will change. Enjoy finding your perfume. Please share in comment which one is your favorite perfume and why. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. You know I love you so much. And don't forget as well. Yeah, there's a lot of things you're forgetting. <laughs> I'm on Instagram, MS Frederick. It would be lovely to see you. I always read your DM and answer back. And I see you to the next video. Until then, you take care of yourself, my lovelies. Bye.